My name is Dr. Paul Saba. I'm a family physician in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and president of the Coalition of Physicians for Social Justice. We must not let euthanasia or assisted suicide happen to our loved ones. As you know, here in Quebec, the law for euthanasia was started on a model similar to Belgium. In Belgium, euthanasia was supposed to be for those who are at the end of life were suffering physically. But in fact, it has been extended to those who, have, who are depressed and those tired of life. And even now, the law was passed in Belgium to euthanize children. We have invited a former state representative from New Hampshire, Nancy Elliott, to explain why euthanasia or assisted suicide was stopped in New Hampshire in March of 2014. Please listen to former state representative Nancy Elliott tell her story. Hi, I'm Nancy Elliott, a former three-term state representative from New Hampshire. In March 2014, we, de we defeated an assisted suicide bill in our state by a very wide margin, three to one. This is very similar to the euthanasia bill proposed by Quebec. Senior citizen abuse is rampant in New Hampshire and in your country and in the worldwide. We know that this happens, it's a documented fact. Every day, seniors are defrauded um, by friends, family, and new, and new best friends. In assisted suicide or euthanasia, they are left unprotected. In your recent euthanasia bill, it allowed the, an heir to sign you up. This is dangerous, this is dangerous public policy to suggest to a senior that, um, you know, maybe you should end your life so that there'll be something left for me is a just subtle form of coercion that can never be legislated out. And to um, suggest that somebody should end their life, should kill themselves, that in itself is abusive. Our, our seniors should not be subjected to this and, and your loved ones shouldn't be subject, subjected to this. In assisted suicide and euthanasia, it doesn't take into account that with treatment, the people aren't necessarily dying. With treatment, they could live quite a long time and many could be cured. The way your bill is, a person with diabetes who, cho who didn't take his insulin would now be classified as terminal. And even if the doctor objected, there was a provision in there that he couldn't object for somebody that refused treatment. Very, very dangerous. You're going to have people um, being euthanized that never should have. They, they have many years left. Everybody knows cases where a doctor has given a prediction and the patient outlived that by sometimes very many years. I have a friend in New Hampshire, Richard Bloom, who was diagnosed by his doctor um, as terminal with pancreatic ca cancer. He fought for treatment and now, nine years later, he's still living and happy. It's dangerous, it's dangerous to have a law that could end somebody's life, they could be throwing their life away. My message to Quebecers and the rest of Canada, please reject assisted suicide and euthanasia. Legislators in New Hampshire, once they learned the facts, became very uncomfortable with this bill, the assisted suicide bill that we had, and it's the same with the euthanasia. It's dangerous. People could um, lose, throw away their life. They could have many years left with treatment. It's not a good policy and it could cause people their lives. Please reject it. Please go onto our website, coalitionmd.org, to see 
how you can prevent euthanasia and assisted suicide of our loved ones. Everyone is implicated. Our grandparents, our parents, our spouses, a brother, a sister, our children. We must not let this happen. Our fellow citizens must stop euthanasia and assisted suicide. Thank you.